Okay, hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I want to show you how you can update your Windows 10 computer to Windows 11, even if it's not compatible with Windows 11. Here I have my computer here. It's a third generation of i7 processor. And as you can see here with the tool, why not Win 11? I have two problems here. The CPU is too old, it's not supported. And also my TPM version is outdated. It has a TPM 1.2 and well, I need at least 2.0. Well, uh, usually this would mean that I need to get rid of this computer if I want to use it in the future, switch to Linux or upgrade my computer. However, it is still possible to install Windows 11 here on this machine. While it's not supported officially, um, it's not, there's no guarantee that it will work in the future. But my opinion on that is, um, well, you can do that. Uh, it works and if it stops working in a few years or so, Microsoft stops supporting it, you can still get a new computer and unless uh, until then you can use your old computer. Okay, let's get started. Okay, we need a tool here. It's called Flyby11 and you can download it here from github.com. I will put the link in the video description. Here you go onto the releases page and scroll down a little bit and here you find a table. And what we need here is this version here, Flyby 11, the classic version for upgrade only. So download this, this is a zip file, and then we can continue. Okay, I have downloaded the zip file here and already extracted it here. And we go into this folder here and start the tool here, Flyby 11. And this will bring up uh, another check for our computer here. And if both are green, then our upgrade probability is very high. So as I suppose, if this is not supported here on your computer, then your computer is really old and you really should consider getting a new one. And it might work, but it's not guaranteed. Okay, here, Windows 10 support stops in 21 days. So start upgrade now. In the first step, we need to download a, a Windows image file here. And I recommend using this option here, select download source and use the media creation tool because this creates an ISO file here, which fits the installed version of your computer. So, yep, click yes here. And this will then open YouTube in the background. We don't need that. You have this video here. And then we will save the media creation tool. The download starts in the background to our desktop here. And once we have done that, we, yes, we want to run it. Perfect. And basically what we do here is we accept the license terms. And in the next step, we use the recomm recommended options for this PC. This will download the correct version of Windows. Hit next and here the important thing is select ISO file here. Hit next and then we need to choose a location where we want to store our Windows file here. I will just select the desktop here, hit save and now the ISO file is getting downloaded. Okay, it took a while but the download is now finished so we can close the Windows media creation tool. Here's our ISO file and in the next step we just use this option box here to select these, this ISO file from our computer like so and this will then in the background start the upgrade of our computer. Here we go, it opens the PowerShell and the upgrade tool now starts. We can now close the flyby tool we can donate via PayPal if you want to. And here we go. This basically starts the regular Windows upgrade setup wizard. And it, it interestingly enough, it, it tells here install Windows Server. Well, um, there's nothing wrong with it. Just continue and hit next. And then the process will be just be the normal Windows upgrade process. But uh, you do not have to meet the hardware requirements. Okay, now it's checking my PC. And if you see the license terms, then you are good to go. Accept those and now you can choose what you want to keep. Uh, since we are doing an update, we want to keep the file settings and also the applications. We do not want to reinstall any applications. We just want to update Windows 10 to Windows 11. Hit next and now we are ready to install. Final check and then we hit install and now the installation starts. Then the computer will restart several times as mentioned here. And after that, you have Windows 11 installed. We will do that now and then we will see. 
Okay, the computer has restarted now and the update will now continue. And this, I think a computer restarts three or four times here and we, ju we just have to wait here. And we are finished. As you can see, we have now installed Windows 11 on this old computer and it works and we are also getting updates here for our system. Of course, this might change anytime in this in the future. Microsoft might not support um, older systems in the future, but until then, I think we can use this computer. And if this really happens in one, two, three years, or maybe never, then we can still get us a new computer or switch to Linux. And well, that's it.